hate disjoints, he hates projectiles, and Cloud has both in spades. All right, if he gets the limit break, he <laughs> becomes one of the most obnoxious characters to fight ever as Yoshi. Uh, but Dynamite, uh, safe to say, one of, if not the best Yoshi players in, in SoCal. So I'm actually kind of excited to see how he deals with this matchup. Definitely. And, oh, you know, there we go. Oh, I'm missing that up air directly after. There we go. Yeah, so Yoshi's bread and butter is pretty much any one of his aerial attacks. They're all good. They all combo into each other. They can all kill. They're all great to use. Woof! Oh. Aw. And he's still in. Yoshi's also <laughs> pretty heavy. We got aggressive down special. That ground pound saving his life. Yeah, so they made it so ground pound can snap to a ledge. They made it so, yeah, just like that. Uh, Yoshi can ground pound through a platform, so it's actually a, a pretty nice move to use in this game. It obviously leaves you open if it doesn't connect. Ooh! That's scary, yeah. The, the other thing with ground pound is that it is a shield break, but obviously if your opponent parries one part of it, whether it's the rise or the fall, uh, <laughs> you may as well kiss your stock goodbye, is basically <laughs> how I see it. It was a good roll away, parrying the first hit. Yeah. It is harder to parry the first hit, I acknowledge. Don't like doing a pretty good job waiting out these uh, limit breaks, though. That's true. Forcing Spargo to commit to the beam, so at least he has some damage potential. It's true. Now, Cloud Ooh. off stage, yeah. Cloud doesn't. That's where Yoshi will have the advantage. Cloud does not want to be off stage against Yoshi because Yoshi has such great aerial drift that he can usually catch Cloud wherever he goes because Cloud has a relatively predictable recovery pattern. Uh, but on stage, Yoshi will have the disadvantage. Ooh! Oh, All he needed was one of those attacks to connect. And Phantom Footstool did not do Dynamite any favors there. Nah. But, the, but Dynamite has the right idea. As long as he connects one attack while Cloud is off stage, he can probably take the stock, as long as Cloud doesn't have limit break. Ooh. Speaking of. Yeah, that, he was doing that quite a bit and struggled ready for it. Yeah, he's just waiting it out. I don't blame him. You do what you, you, do what you have to. There you go. That yeah, Yoshi doesn't potential. care. <laughs> That get up attack. Very big. <laughs> there we go. Oh, up to the down air is still catching him despite. He's, he's, trying, he's trying to catch him with the egg lay, which, uh, if nothing else, is actually a good mobility option for Yoshi because even if egg lay doesn't connect, it allows him to be reverse and get away from the opponent. Uh, obviously, if you do catch somebody, it is a command grab, so it kind of puts him into a bit of a buried state. So then he can follow up however he wants. Uh, I just, he hasn't landed it yet, so it's, it's actually kind of messing him up more than it's helping him. Yeah. <laughs> Very scary position for Dynamite. Yeah, it's oh okay. It's it's looking more doable. Just he just needs to make sure he doesn't get hit by any of Cloud's aerials. Yeah. Yoshi, uh, although he has good aerial drift, he doesn't snap to ledge super easily. Oh, he gets one attack. That'll do it. Yeah, that was a good, good punish there. Oh, no so, yeah. roll. So it's very interesting because Spargo is catching Dynamite's uh, recovery patterns because he usually has to air dodge back to the back to the ledge. Yeah. But oh, but Dynamite's catching Spargo's recovery pretty well too. Yeah, I mean yeah. The, the couple times where, with one exception, obviously. Oh, usually if there's an egg Ooh. lay, that's a missed input. I, I refuse to believe that most Yoshi players do that move intentionally. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. See. All right. Dynamite consistently air dodging a little high. Yeah. And Spargo just. <laughs> He's been dash attacking it pretty much every time, so... Yeah, so the, the thing is, um, Yoshi's egg toss is great when you're off stage because it puts pressure on opponents that are edge guarding you. But the only problem is uh, you then have to throw out your jump to make it onto the ledge. And it doesn't always leave you as invincible as the move might lead you to believe. So we Yoshi players throw out an air dodge. But yeah, if you don't air dodge just right, you go too high and you're just, exactly. you're just screwed over. Uh, yeah, Cl Cloud's a tough matchup. I get it. There we go. Dynamite. Had a couple really good stocks. He's in really good positions. But oh yeah. Just misspaced them ever so slightly. So th that's Yoshi. Oh, there we go. That was there. There's that B reverse off the platform. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get that back throw. Get into the positioning. Oof. Yikes. Both trying to just spike each other. Yeah, I can He's respect. Dead. Oh, is that it? He's yeah. Dead. Oh no, no. Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi's sorry. weight coming in handy. So I'm playing the wrong game. <laughs> sorry, the aggressive down air. Yeah, sorry, Aim. Cloud's not DLC anymore. He comes with the game, so he doesn't get DLC privilege. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh no, that, that back air knocking him out of the armor, but. Yeah, e either one of them could just throw out one attack and it'll go into a, it'll land into a kill move. Yikes. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that ground pound. Careful, yep. 
he, he knew Cloud was going to have to expend his, his recovery, so he figured that was the safe time to recover. Yeah. Yep, see, the double B reverse, just to try and get your placing back on the stage proper. There we go, that's a proper air dodge back All into right. the stage. All right, trying to time it. So the thing with uh, being sucked into Yoshi's egg is whatever is the last input you use when the egg breaks is the attack you will throw out. So if you can kind of adjust to the timing of when the egg will break, you can just be like, surprise, and use a super powerful attack. Yeah, like I was afraid he was just going to up special, but yeah. Dynamite was keeping his distance. But. So it comes down to who can predict the timing better, because if Dynamite knows the timing, he can just throw on enough smash and kill him. If Spargo knows the timing, then he can go ahead and just kill Yoshi right <laughs> off of his own move. And reverse I'm sorry, the whole thing. I just saw Yoshi like eat that forward air <laughs> like nothing with that second jump armor. Love it. Love to see it. Oh, okay. And All right. Dynamite opting high right often, and Spargo reacting accordingly, but not landing hits. Oh, yeah. Did, did what he could. Fell right into Cloud's trap. All right, Spargo is in the lead, and he has limits, so it's not looking great for Dynamite, but he's not out of it just yet, getting those juicy aerial combos. Oh, watch out. He's yeah, you, you do not want to be off stage. He doesn't have a jump anymore either. He's gonna have. Oh, nope. he. Oh, nope. That'll do it. It's a rough matchup. I don't know what Yoshi's worst matchup is, but I gotta imagine Cloud is up there. I can't. 